Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone, and this is a Roll the Dice. Uh, if you're not familiar with these videos, it's... Um, put that nice and still so it doesn't rattle too much through the microphone. If you're not familiar with these videos, it's where I buy something off eBay or Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, which is sort of an Australian thing, I think. Um, and the photos are a bit dodgy, the details are a bit sketchy, uh, you know, you've seen them a million times before yourself. Uh, yeah, let's get it open. Before I do, I get to tell you how much I spent and roughly what I think is in here because I do buy a lot of parcels off various places and uh, they kind of come streaming in sporadically because of postage delays and whatnot. I spent $40 including postage which is $9.30 anywhere in Australia. So 40 bucks and the only thing I know is in here is the military version of the old field car. This is the original from about a thousand years ago. Uh, made in England, Lesney. Do we get a copyright? No. Oh, yeah, we do. Mm. Is that 69? Really? So it's old. And then there was this one, the AC Filters version, Scout Racing. Sweet as, same base. And of course, Mattel did this one, was that last year already? Maybe the year before, 2020, so yeah. 2021 release. So, uh, the only thing I know that is in this box, hopefully, is a military version of the field car, and I'm very excited. So, slash willy nilly. It's a strange way to pack that, but. Um, what the deal was with those. It's nice to see the seller giving a hoot. Oh, they bought me perfume. Just make sure there's nothing that's going to give anybody's address or anything away. Oh, more ear bubbles. I always find it quite interesting how um, sellers package their stuff. Okay, so we've got, they're all loose. Um, I'm going to tease you a little bit by trying to find everything except the one I'm after. Uh, we've got a weasel. We've got a badger. A badger, not a barger. Um, what is this? Oh, that's right, there's a corgi in here too. It's unfamiliar. But we'll look at each piece individually. Wow, that's in really good condition. That's in super duper condition. Is that a chip there? Or a bit of somebody's dinner? It's a bit of somebody's dinner. Wipe the gravy off your fingers before you play with your toys. Nice. And that, of course, is Roller Maddox. Which one? That one. Pew, pew, pew. 40 bucks. There's one of the bubbles wedges between my back and the chair. So it's got very tiny amount of play wear on those wheels. But that's in really good nick. The other weasel. Mm, what do we know about this? Matchbox Roller Matics, 1973 copyright, number 73. Yeah, that's in really good condition. And we'll look at this Corgi for a moment. Commando what? V100. Corgi Juniors. Made in Great Britain. And the pattern number. Double barrel. Hmm. I've never seen one of these before. But do we have a copyright? 
Mm, not that I can see. It seems to be about the same age though, doesn't it? That's really interesting. I wonder if that's Roller Maddox. No, that was a Matchbox thing, wasn't it? It's kind of funky. Glad to have it. It's kind of along the lines of the Weasel, isn't it? And that, of course, is the Badger. Number hmm, 18 or 16. You can probably read that better than I. And, of course, the Radar goes around. Nice. That's in really good neck too. A little bit of paint knocked off on the corners. It's seen some action. Did a few tours. Now, hmm, that's interesting. Where is my field car? <laughs> well, I'd better look in that box very quickly. There's no field car. Oh, that is interesting. I had all the field cars turn up to the airport and <laughs> the uh, visitor didn't show. But we have a Land Rover, which is in really good nick. I should have brought all up, out all my Land Rovers. Of course, the uh, orange light clicks around as that wheel goes around. Hmm. So the field car didn't arrive at all. But the stoat, is that a stoat? Hmm, where are we? Yes, number 28, the stoat. Again, in really good condition. Nice. I suppose that's stolen the show now, hasn't it? I should have got out all my Land Rovers, Range Rovers. Um, and they're calling it the police patrol at number 20, I think. Barely a mark on it. The uh, obvious dodgy paintwork during manufacture, but that is superb condition, as they all are. Just uh, put those off to one side, the irrelevant ones. There we go, 40 bucks. I'm chuffed, even though the, um, the expected arrival indeed did not arrive. What do you think? $40 delivered, so what does that make it? 31 bucks, $30.70 plus postage. I think that was a bargain. And something new in the Corgi. Nice. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.